Perhaps unsurprisingly, this week we learned from the Wellbeing Lab that about half as many Australians this year are thriving today as they were at the same time last year. We also learned about a third of those surveys feel that they can share their struggles at work or that their manager expresses care and concern for them. Interestingly, the wellbeing research identifies psychological safety as one of the top three contributors to wellbeing and as one of the first in Australia to be accredited to run Leader Factor's four stages of psychological safety, I thought it might be helpful if I share some insights. You may already know Google identified psychological safety as the number one contributor of performance. Amy Edmondson, the Harvard researcher, identified the importance of doing three things to increase psychological safety in your team. The first is to make it explicitly safe for people to share challenges in a professional context was her research. Inviting participation from other team members, collective intelligence effectively. And when things inevitably go wrong, responding productively and constructively. You know, don't shoot the messenger. Sounds obvious, but it has a really big impact on psychological safety. Recently, Tim Clark of The Leader Factor identified there are significant impacts associated with not having psychological safety in your team. And you can see these here beside me. And he also identifies that there's a continuum of psychological safety, with challenger level safety being the one that contributes most significantly to increased innovation and reduction of corporate risk. So just how do leaders create psychological safety and simultaneously impact wellbeing and performance? Leaders who use more questions and manage outcomes rather than tasks and processes are more effective in creating level four psychological safety. And what's interesting is that the wellbeing research identifies the very same combination that enables team members to thrive rather than merely survive or struggle. So as a leader, we recommend three things to increase psychological safety and wellbeing and of course, performance. So the first is connecting at a deeper level with your team, showing that you care and expressing genuine appreciation. This has got to be authentic, of course. Secondly, creating an environment which makes it safe to share personal and professional struggles. And you might like to start by opening up a little about yourself. Thirdly, to act as an innovation catalyst, ask your team some good questions like, well, why is that? Why do we do it like that? What's the impact of that? And what if we were two? So by doing those things, you're giving permission to challenge the status quo. You're simultaneously increasing psychological safety. You're positively impacting well-being and performance in the course of everyday conversations and interactions. So psychological safety is not one and done. And if you'd like to learn some more, please reach out. We'd be happy to share some more details with you.